But for the moment, let's shift to another NBFC which has done brilliantly well. Manapuram General Finance, it posted a good set of earnings actually. Uh, VP Nanda Kumar, Managing Director CEO, joins us now. Good morning, Mr. Nanda Kumar. Well, your income growth has been very healthy. Uh, gold loan assets under management uh, has, however, been somewhat tepid. What is your expectation of the growth in assets under management in the second half? Yeah, well, it, it's seasonal compared to the Q2 of last year and this year. There is a, a growth of around 17 percent. Quarter on quarter, uh, the, the growth is little slow because the gold loan uh, used to be seasonal, uh, short seasonal growth. I think uh, by, by the uh, year end, uh, we'll be able to achieve more than 10 percent growth in gold loan alone. What about interest rates? Uh, they've been on the rise lately. How has this impacted your cost of funds and your net interest margins? What's your expectation for margins in the second half of the year? As far as we are concerned, uh, our liquidity position is comfortable, primarily because our, uh, we have a higher, very high capital adequacy. The second is uh, 75% of the consolidated AEM is three months loan. Gold loan, gold loan. So, uh, uh, which matures, uh, uh, where, you know, where the repayments are happening in 60-65 days. So, because of that liquidity, we are able to get uh, the CPs renewed, even short-term uh, bank borrowings renewed, all bank borrowings borrow, uh, renewed. So, as such, we have not faced any liquidity issue. So, uh, uh, because CPs are renewed, the cost also has not gone up to that extent. Uh, compared to the previous quarter, then there is a 10 percent increase uh, in the average cost of borrowing. But this quarter, we are expecting around 50-60 base points of base points increase in the average cost of borrowing. So uh, uh, that cost of borrowing, uh, yes, our uh, gold loans are short term in nature, and microfinance, uh, uh, the, there is a 10 percent link cap, etc. I think uh, on 90 percent of the portfolios, uh, this can be passed on. Uh, Mr. Nandukumar, if you can uh, tell us what was your, uh, uh, you know, second quarter gross NPA figures and net NPA figures. Also, uh, if you can give your provisioning in the form of what is the credit cost? The gross NBA, uh, the consolidated gross NBA is 0.67% uh, uh, only. Uh, gold loan it is uh, lesser than that, uh, which is the biggest portfolio. Microfinance, the collections are happening to the extent of 99.5% recovery is happening. And uh, the other uh, vehicle finance, which is around 5% uh, of the total portfolio, uh, the NBA level is 2.5%. And, uh, the, and uh, the other loans, the uh, overall NBA, which is around uh, 800 crores, the average NBA is uh, uh, around 1% only. In home finance, uh, which is a small portfolio of uh, around 3%, which is uh, for the uh, 37 crores, uh, the uh, uh, gross NBA level is, uh, uh, is uh, around 4.5 percent, but what it is very small. But the resolutions are happening. By the year end, we are hopeful, hopeful of bringing that down to around 2 percent. So overall quality is good. Okay. Well, uh, can you share your sources of funds uh, by today and what does the tenure look like? So, uh, our liability mix is 55% uh, is the bank loans and we are getting the renewals and then uh, around 20% is uh, non-convertible debentures of uh, medium to long term. Uh, medium means 3 years to 7 years. So, out of that, the major portion is from institutions. Uh, the, our retail NCDs are uh, small in quantity compared to the others. Then, uh, yeah, the balance, the uh, 25% is the CP. About the C, as far as CP, our comfort is uh, uh, our ALM, we have a positive mismatch. Our uh, assets matures in uh, over 60 days. Uh, major major uh, assets uh, mature since uh, 60 days. So we don't have a uh, ALM mismatch. Uh, if at all mismatch is there, it's only positive. Okay. Uh, you are investing more in housing uh, loans, uh, microfinance business as well. Uh, is this a good time to be expanding these businesses? Uh, I mean, there's a bit of a jitter. Uh, you know, 
Alternatively, are you going to buy some assets from other HFCs, housing finance companies? Yeah, we feel like this is the time to expand those businesses. In home finance, we uh, we uh, hope that uh, good portfolio will be available uh, for buying. Similarly, for uh, secured micro mortgages, secured uh, that is the SME. Uh, we uh, we, uh, yeah, we are getting some good proposals of season assets of, uh, of, uh, for buy. Uh, I think uh, this, uh, this is the this is a, the opportunity for us to buy these quality assets. Okay, so, what is the expectation as far as the income and profit growth is concerned for FY19? I mean, we're halfway through the year now. Um, what does it look like for the rest of the year? Yeah, uh, currently our ROE is uh, at 22 uh, percent. We are uh, we uh, we are hopeful of maintaining our 20 percent ROE during the current year. Thanks, and uh, the asset growth also we expect uh, the, uh, the, it would be uh, over 20 percent. Okay. I guess that's the uh, assets under management. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Nandakumar, for joining us. A 22% ROE, of course, uh, will be most welcome, even after uh, the rise in cost of capital. That would be a handsome return for investors. Uh, on that note, we're going to take a break. We're going to get uh, lots more market news for you. We've got Titan results coming up today. And uh, on November 19th, of course, an all-important RBI board meeting. So opinions <laughs> on all this when we return.